Will we? Um, yes. No, it wasn't yes. No, 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 that wasn't yes. I'm saying yes. It was uh, Paul Williams with... You give a little... Give you, a little give, love. you give a little love. Yeah. Take a little love. I did a little love on me. I did it with you. So the uh, Paralympics is nearly finished. Thank fuck. <laughs> that means all the roads be getting back to normal. Don't you like them? You liked them. I like the Paralympics. I did. I, I, I think the best thing about the Paralympics for me was how all the, the, the whole audience, the whole stadium, pulled together to boo George Osborne, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. <laughs> I think that was a lovely little touch. Good moment. It was a great moment because his little face just dropped. Hmm. His little face just—he didn't know what to do, and he saw you saw he saw had a look on his face as to say, "Right, I'm going to fuck all you lot up." <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? He's got the power. Power. He's power. got the power. <laughs> he didn't lose his job. They had a reshuffle. <laughs> well, the governments are the only things when they have reshuffles where it sort of says. You wouldn't get. You wouldn't have like. You wouldn't have a thing in another company where somebody was running the finance. They went, hold on a minute. You're running the finance. Just, let's just have a swap round. You run, you go and run the fucking. You go and run H and R and fucking Percy from fucking the uh, warehouse will come and run the fucking finance. No, that's what they do in government, though, didn't they? They, they, they have a reshuffle. You're they? running health, but fuck off. Go and run fucking uh, travel. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just ridiculous. Like that's going to make it any better. Ridiculous cunts. <laughs> Fucking slimy. Was it not travel, was shit. it? Well, it's a uh, foreign secretary. Uh-huh. But he didn't lose his job, did he? Do you think Boris Johnson should be uh, promised? It would be much more entertaining, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. It would be much more entertaining. How yeah, much more entertaining would it'd, be that? It'd lunacy. fucking take us all to fucking hell, but we'd all be laughing as we went there. This lot will take us all to hell and we're all fucking uptight. We're right? uptight. He'd be, he'd be, we'd be laughing, we'd wouldn't we? We'd be going, yeah, go on, fuck the country up, Boris. You're a bumbling idiot. Go on. I quite like him, though. Yes, he's, he's got he's got charisma, hasn't he? He's got that likeable factor, and he? He's got a certain charisma. He just looks him. like he could fuck it up. And that's what I probably like about him. The fact that it's a bit normal, he's, you know, he, he looks like he would he would he would say, yes, I, I really did mess up. Yes, I really. I, tell you, I don't know how. Uh, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know how I uh, I pushed the nuclear button, but uh, <laughs> it seems I've accidentally blown Russia up. <laughs> I would forgive him. Well, well, the Russians Russia wouldn't let be dead. <laughs> well, no, they'd be sending one straight back at us. Well, <laughs> why not? So we're, he'd be saying it as fucking. Yes, I, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really quite sorry about that. But it looks like we're all going to die. He might be, except me, because I'm going to go and live in a bunker. You know what? It could end up like a fucking uh, Doctor Strange. Stuff. It could, uh, he could be the one who's, who's what was his name? The, the, not Jurgensen. What? In Doctor Strange. Oh, love. I don't know. I haven't seen Doctor Strange love for years. Oh, yeah. Best line in Doctor Strange love is when he goes, "Gentlemen, gentlemen, the war room is not the place to argue." <laughs> He says that, um... When he's the American president. Yeah. But George C. Scott is just... Always fantastic in that film. Yeah, mm. Have you seen that range of them? I rewatched it a few months ago. Tell you what we watched last night. Mm. I hadn't seen it for years. But Charlie wanted to watch it. Hartley's son. Uh, yeah. Up in Smoke. Oh my good God. <laughs> it's a fucking funny film. Isn't it? Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Even when you're not stoned, it's well, hilarious. Well, you can remember what it was like, that's why. No, it still it stands up as a funny film. It does stand up as a funny yeah, film. Yeah, of course it's it does. It's a stoner's film, obviously, but it stands up. I just stand it was making, it did make, you know, it did make political comedy. They probably weren't, probably weren't stoned while they were doing it, though. No, they're probably acting. They're acting. I wouldn't have thought they were standing. I wouldn't have nah. thought you'd be able to fucking get that level. Of... Mind you, they were all on acid when they were doing Easy Rider. True. But as you can see that. Well, no, only that bit where they were on acid. When they were t- took acid, that was when they, they filmed it. Yeah. But I, I would imagine they were stoned. Yeah. I'd imagine they were stoned when they were making it. I'd imagine, they, I don't know, maybe they was. I don't know, maybe you can't act, especially Tommy Chong, you can't act that stone. <laughs> nah. 
<laughs> but he pulls out, he pulls out, he, like, it's brilliant. He checks him out, he's going, yeah, I got a giant man. And he's looking for it. He's going, yeah, it's going to take you to the moon, man. It's going to take you to the moon. <laughs> and he goes, oh, go in here, somebody. No, that's my dick. And uh, <laughs> he pulls it out and he looks at it. And it's a really bent, out of shape, really small joint. And Tommy Chong goes, gee, man, hope your dick ain't as small as this. <laughs> And he just comes out, he goes, oh, i got a joint. And he comes out with that massive oh, joint. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that for years. And he's just... Where did you watch it? Oh, it's on Netflix. And he's freaking out. <laughs> How good is that, Netflix? Yeah, Netflix is good. Isn't it good? Yeah. Should tell Alton to get the American one. What's he about to do it? The American one is the governor. He's got everything on there. Yeah, but Art, he's got a thing where he gets the shows from America as they're showing in America. No, no, but Netflix has got all that, all that, all the old stuff, like, but but more of that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, more of it. Well, no, it's got like it's, you know, it's basically it's just the English ones got hundreds, the American ones got thousands. Of what? They're everything. There's more of everything. It's got all the old seventies shows. <laughs> Like what? Uh, it's got all, it's got chips, it's got Rockford Files, it's got... Only a cunt like you would want to watch them. Oh, man. I love the Rockford Files, boy. Why only a cunt like you? I would sit down and watch the Rockford Files if they put it on on, a, on an after, a Sunday afternoon and they put it on. I'd sit, maybe I'd sit and watch it. Only you would sit there and watch eight episodes of the fucking Rockford Files. Mm. It's good. Why 5 0 from the beginning? Great, 1968. Oh, yeah. Told you, Family Ties. Family Ties, fantastic viewing. It's just so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, right, but he's great in it, though. What? I wouldn't watch that anyway. Why? It just wouldn't appeal to me. I bet you've watched Different Strokes, haven't you? No. I bet you have. No, I never liked it. Oh, the well, well, that's because you're a fucking racist. So no, it's not. It's just one drum. Oh, it might be right for you. I just didn't like it. Right some. What is it? Well, is well, I'll be a racist. Because it had black people in it. Oh, shut up. I love Cosby Show. No, you didn't. You didn't. I remember you said to me, I don't like it because there's black people in it. Oh, I did not say that. You said that I love the Cosby it. Show. I love I like French Prince of Pelé. But well, this is a story about how we... Well, uh, li, 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 li. oh, small, smell you later, what is it? Yeah, something like that. Did you know that? I like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah, I like it. watch it when it's on. Yeah, I do. Or Viva. Viva, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I like, I like the, the kid who plays Carlton in it. Yeah, he's very good. Yeah, they had Tom Jones in it the other day. Oh, did they? Because he loves Tom Jones, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Cat being strangled or something. Take your hand back in here, is he? <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. Why? I don't care. No. I don't give a fuck. It was just a joke anyway. Yeah. What was it? Nobody out there knows who Craig Neal is, do they? I thought sure they do. All right, well, then they know what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben out of shape. And there you go. Yeah. Beatles facts. The Beatles almost produced and starred in a movie version of The Lord of the Rings in the 60s, but J.R.R. Tol- Tolkien was against the idea. Wow. It would have been shit, wouldn't it? Sure. Fucking short it would have been. <laughs> well, I mean, let's face it. Help wasn't that good, really, was it? No. Hard Day's Night was what it was, but... Hard Day's Night was good. I know, Hard Day's Night was brilliant. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, it was what it was. It was the first of its kind. Yeah. But they were trying to act in help. They weren't acting in, in Hard Day's Night. No, it was just be the Beatles. Playing the, the Beatles. They were playing the Beatles in help. But... Mind you, no, mind you, I'll say that. I still fucking enjoyed it, though. <laughs> it's no, still, yeah. They still look beautiful, in it. Yeah, they look great, <laughs> great in help. Oh, they look fantastic in Elbert, eh? 
There's some great bits in Help. Yeah, there is, yeah. I mean, Leo McKern's good in Help. Leo McKern is very, very good. Victor Spinetti, Victor Spinetti pulls in his normal... Always good. Always always value, Victor. Yeah. They were going to make another one, weren't they? Yeah. There's loads of things. They're going to, Joe Orton was going to write something for him, wasn't he? Well, no, Joe Orton... No, Joe Orton wrote. Joe Orton was was gonna was was the first to do um, to be asked to write the first film. Uh, hard days, no. Well, he didn't. It wasn't quite hard days, no. But he was the first to um, to to commission the script. But he said no fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Owen. I said about the hard days, no. Sir Alan Owen, yeah. And he, uh, but he was glad he wrote it. That's what I thought you. I would presume he's, I don't know. Lots of people got ripped off in, in them days. Even the Beatles. The Beatles got ripped off the most. <laughs> Mind you, I always say, it doesn't matter really. When, you, when you're the Beatles, you'd be getting ripped off for, for how long it was. You know, you, I mean, you're not, you're not gonna lose, are you? No. <laughs> well, you're gonna get ripped off so long, and then back it up. Put it this way: I don't know as many, don't know as many of the Beatles fucking signing on. No. But two of them couldn't. Two of them couldn't now. No, two of them couldn't now. But I don't know it's their, I don't know it's their widow struggling. Mm -mm -mm. No. No, Yoko never struggled. Yeah. I mean, Olivia Harrison ain't gonna put in for fucking emergency benefit. <laughs> No, no, I think they're all right. And Danny. He's about 30 odd, isn't he, Danny? Yeah. I always thought he was. When I saw him on the. Uh, on the, all those. the benefits he was done. he did for George Harrison. He looks about 15. It was about 10 years ago. <laughs> you prick. 2002, yeah, he was young. He was 20. Was he 20 when he died? He was about that, yeah, 1920. Mm. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you fucking silly sausage. Good concert. Anyway, let's have some music, shall we? Talking about music. Talk about. Talk about music. We're going to play the Wang Tang Clang now. <laughs> Afternoon. 